Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Last time we tidied up the base. Look how nice it is. Nice and pretty and clean and not full of junk. And we rescued Maxi! So that makes us three muscle-bound friends in a hot spring. And of course we need to talk to Glutamus so we can actually deal with the next assault. But before we do that, we haven't done much in the way of exploring of this area, so let's take a quick look around. Something I want to say is, um... Why don't I just say it? Why do I see like, hey, by the way, there's something that I want to say. Say it. I have a captive audience. You're already here and listening to me. To, like, interject and say, hey, do you, do you mind? Do you mind if I, if I, if I say something? I'll, I'll wait for you to answer and give me the okay. That's a stool, right? That's a stool. I need a table! I can get stools. Oh, I do need a leather sack, though. So there's this really tall cactus over here, so I'm gonna go say hi to it. 7 North... 33 East. So seven north from presumably the cactus, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna be problems, aren't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Seven North 33 South, and there's a chest buried in it. It's the gold ring, which we can equip. Uh, let's see here. Increase max HP by 10, sounds good to me. I can get behind that. So that's one little piece of treasure that's out here. Now there is more, and we're going to want to do that little bit of exploring first. You know what, I'm just gonna take off this. Because I'm getting really tired of selecting them by accident. So in one of these caves is a present that I did not find. I found it! It was actually in this first cave. And it is... The world map! So you can see we're in the far upper right hand corner of the map. This island, and the one directly to its west, used to be one island in the original Dragon Quest, but it was split straight down the middle. And of course, we don't really get a specific about where we are in that island, but you can, you can guess. I'm getting real tired of these holes. One of these is the way out. Oh my goodness. These little breaky blocks, let me tell you, the little breaky blocks, most annoying thing. Okay, let's get back on the copper sword. Because there's more yet for us to explore. There's, for one, this real tall thing over here. There's a big ugly guy. We can probably stab him. That'll go well, I'm sure. But first, let's try to climb up this. All kinds of fun little presents out here. Where have I climbed this already? I don't remember. We're gonna find out, I guess. No, I have not climbed it already, because there is no immediate way up beyond this point. 
Well, that's okay, because I've got a lot of dirt. Heck! There's always something. There's always some kind of present up here for us. It's just a matter of finding. And it sure as heck isn't up here. You know, to be honest, I'm not actually convinced that there's anything on this one. You're not looking good. First we can just flatten the whole thing. If it's in here, we'll find it. Well, if it's anywhere, it's not up there. Yeah, not looking good. So, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this one be for now. So it is getting a little bit late. I've still got more adventuring to do, so I'm gonna see if I can't find that, uh, bedroom out here real quick. Couldn't find a bed, so I just ran back to town. I wanna go say hi to this guy, though. How you doing? Yeah. Alright, so what's the plan here? What's the strategy? Uh, deal with the friggin' scorpion. That's a good one. So the guy is real slow on the turnaround. So if you can dodge his attack... I don't know if I'm killing this guy. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, two damage at a time. I don't know how well this is gonna go. I mean, we'll get there eventually. My sword will probably, will probably break before I kill him, to be honest. He views me as such a complete non-threat that he just... Okay. We'll come back to him. I could have taken him. It just would have taken a little bit of time. That's all. We'll come back to that, though. So we've also not done much in the way of exploring down this way. Past where we found Maxi. We went down here, found his... Jail. We claimed the fortress as our own. Man, look at that. There's lava down here. Probably use some more stone, to be honest. Oh, right, my inventory's full. Uh, some stuff I do not need. Other stuff I do not need. Anything else I do not need? I do not need, right this second, a pot. Now, something I may need at some point... Oh, can't break that yet. Okay. That's fine. Could use some stone, though. And we're gonna keep on hoofing it down this way, because there's stuff down here. Uh, these blocks I'm standing on are magma blocks. They will be used at some point for something. Also, dragon skeletons. Those are important sometimes for something. Maybe just scaring off the locals. And by locals, I mean monsters. So this place is... a little spooky. Because there's a dragon at the top of it. So 
So how do we want to handle this? Because, I mean, I'll go kill a dragon. Hmm. I don't know if I can kill this dragon yet. I'm gonna be honest. But that's fine, because there's a chest right over here and I can just open it. Alright, so that dragon, something else that we will kill later. Even though I'm pretty sure I took his prize. But that's fine. So that's about it for the first area. We're pretty much done exploring here for now. So I'll go ahead and hoof it back to town and we can see what Glutamus has got for us. Alright, you guys. Let's bust some heads. Let's store some crap in my chest first. Man, what I wouldn't do for some wood. I have stone in there, right? I sure do. I have some of that. Dirt is stuff I already have. I can put that in there. Oh, that's right, I grabbed that leather sack. Well, we're gonna need that leather sack eventually anyway. So hey, glutes! Oh. Okay, that's gonna be annoying, but we'll manage. Alright, you got a migraine, so glutes can't help us. Some iron scorpions appear. Where? There they are, I found them. Hey guys. How you doing? Can you stop, like, walking into me? No more. I'm starting to think building a... Building that... I'm starting to think we need some better siege weapons. Okay, I'm kind of hoping you guys can take care of the rest. I'll deal with this guy. Man, I need to... You know what I could do? I could heal. I should get something to heal myself. I probably should have built some vague form of wall. Okay, you just keep doing that. How you guys doing? Oh man, look at that! Knocking him out! Yeah! Oh, that was only phase one, though. And there's the dancing flames! I'm very quickly going to run over here. Ludimus over there, cowarding. Grab some healing grain. Okay, the flames, you guys are just gonna be butts. Hey, 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 pay attention to me. Or don't, you know, whatever. Ah, there we go, the leader of the monsters appeared. It's you! Wow, explosions. That, yeah, man, explosions, jeez. Teleportations and explosions again.
Okay, you keep doing that, I will smack you. Wait for you to teleport, you get off your spell, I run in and hack at you, look. And then I run away. Not fast enough. Okay, we're working on it though. So, um, at this point, the inside of the town is probably getting trashed because I know that Maxi and, um, I can't remember his name. Uh, they can't kill these fire guys. Yeah, you can see they're both unconscious over there. So if someone does get knocked unconscious, you can grab them and take them to an, uh, an inn, a bed. Let them rest in the inn. And they will slowly recover jumped at the wrong time. They'll slowly recover their life and eventually be good to go fight again. There's our teleportal. So yeah, there's no permadeath or anything, which somebody asked before. Like, it's, it's not the kind of game to do that anyway. They've put too much... There's too much personality in the characters. Too much story-driven personality in the characters for that. Um, like, we'd be down a lot of story if we lost characters. But that did that. I kind of figured they would probably pass out in here trying to deal with the two guys that they could not kill. I should have left the two flame guys out here alone so I could have fought the boss one-on-one. -on -one. While the rest of the flames just danced around in town. It doesn't seem like they could even break blocks, though, so it doesn't seem like they did anything. They probably, like, knocked Glutimus out or something. But, it's pretty quickly becoming obvious we need... we need firepower. No. Aha! Now that's what I'm talking about! So as with every other chapter, we're gonna get uh, a couple of these. So I'm gonna make a little room for them. Yeah. Look at them, all excited, because I put it down. I haven't even made it into a teleportarium yet. But I will, as soon as I remember how to make a friggin' door. And I suppose we need a light source, even though I'm pretty sure teleportals are their own light source. There we go. I got a tree stump somewhere, I don't really need it. Just go right back out there where you were. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. 
So in that case, let's get a good night's sleep and see what's beyond teleportal number one. You know, no pressure, though. So I like the blanking out of the hero's name, because A, pretty sure you named the hero, so it there is no, like, official name. I mean, there's kind of an official name, I'm pretty sure. But, like, so there's that. But then also... It's like you can't remember it. Which I think is kind of neat. Hey, anyway, um, yeah, let's go, let's go see what's what. A brand new land! With brand new materials! And a lot of lava. So as always, you get a nav globe. And then let's take a quick glance around. Maybe we're not going to be able to do too much. But let's see what we got. So nothing new to start. Just these brownies. If I didn't already have a leather sack, that'd be something. Chili peppers. Hmm. What? Well, that's only a little terrifying, and I'm pretty sure we can't kill it yet. So we'll just worry about that another time. Well, I want both of those things. So, quick glance. Oh, wait a moment. A seedling. And you know what that means? It means wood. Grow our own trees. We're certainly not finding much in the way of trees out here. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take a poke down here and see how long it takes for us to get in way over our head. Probably not long, but that's never stopped me before. Gatekeepers? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. What's over here? Hold on, gatekeepers. Chill for like a second. Just want to see what's going on over here. 
Yep, that's just lava. That's a big old hand that came out of the lava. All right, gatekeepers, how are you guys doing? Pretty cool, I'd say. Ooh, a table. And chairs! Oh, that's just what I wanted. Give me that table. With a table and chairs, we can make a fancy little room. Oh, dude! Oh. Well. Well, while I have time paused, anything else of value in here? Nope. Uh, do I have to kill you guys? I don't want to kill you guys. But I mean, there's good stuff in here, though. Also, golems. Don't mind me, though, still just taking a look around. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, bridge our way over there, which is gonna be really hard to do with all these guys nipping at our ankles. So we'll just have to get back to that. I should have made more food. Time to keep moving. They all saw me. These fire guys, of course. Reminder, we cannot kill. I could probably kill the gatekeepers if I really wanted to. But I'll worry about that later. At the moment, we have the importance of wood. And we're gonna take a quick glance this way and see if we can't find something else. Like iron. Mostly just a she-slime so far. Couple more she-slimes, couple more chili peppers. I'm building all these big fancy gates. There is some stuff if you go up on top of these hills, but there's not a ton. So it's not a lot to worry about right now. Ah, I can kill one of you. You know, if I could, like, get him. I mean, like I said, I probably could have killed the two gatekeepers before. Wood! Oh man, bookcases. Do some reading. And beer! I feel like our town is probably gonna be the... Probably gonna err more on the side of the beer than on the wood. I mean, bookcase, really. Nope, not fighting three of them. I'll just go over here and take a look at this iron that we got. Now that's what I'm talking about. Give me our iron! It's okay, I've got a spot for iron and I've got a spot for coal. I do not care. What else is here? Come on, just let me on that spot. So I can do that! You know, at this point, I almost think it's more comedic than it is frustrating. But then I remember that it is indeed very frustrating. Get a little, like, one block of iron in the ceiling. Not too worried about that. Got some iron everywhere around otherwise, though. Oh my goodness. 
Well, my hammer broke and I got stuck down a hole of broken blocks, so I think it's time to go home. And I'll say, until next time, everyone, we got some iron, and we got some wood, so we're gonna have a grand old time. Dang it.